Just a little something about me. Before I found the man of my dreams, I was in a DV. Yes, I was. And my son went through it too. It was during the pandemic and we got stuck in the islands. But it was a great experience. I got to enjoy the island. But besides that, it was a really shitty experience because I got the shit beat out of me for no reason it was really fucked up but now i found my one true love and he shows me real love but my son went through shit and so did i don't make fun of me this is my coping mechanism this is me coming out telling you my story because you guys don't know what i experienced this is us finally leaving we're finally coming back home we were in saint thomas but not all the way back home we had to really struggle to get the fuck out i had to pay six hundred dollars to get the fuck reason it was really fucked up but now i found my one true love and now i'm single as fuck Yay! Life is full of surprises. <laughs> it's Sunday. <laughs> Let's thank the Lord for people actually revealing them true selves and actually getting tired of putting up this fucking facade and acting like a person they're not. Let's thank the Lord for change and guidance and true peace. Let's thank the Lord for truth and honesty, and loyalty, yeah? Let us thank the Lord that throughout all the disrespect, a bitch never reciprocated that same energy. Let us thank the Lord for people exposing themselves and contradicting themselves on their own platforms, with their own lives, with their own beliefs. Let's thank the Lord that this is where it ended. Thank the Lord. We thank you. You're doing your big one. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I got my mind made up. Doing me fuck a slut. Bitch mad till that bitch beat me up. So I heard motherfuckers is trying to say motherfuckers is lying about going through DV with them. Okay, cool. Give me a second. Zay! Come here, handsome. Come here. My sweetness. First off, how are you feeling? I'm happy. Good. Okay. Can I ask you a question real quick? Yes. Did you ever see Josiah put his hands on mommy? Oh, yes. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. And then and when, that, when you saw that happen, did you ever see mommy hit Josiah back? Um, no. No? <laughs> wow. Okay, handsome. Well, thank you so much for being honest. You're the best. I love you. Nice. Go have fun. Okay. What happened? Oh. Oh. First of all, <laughs> fit check. Gang. Right? First of all, <laughs> looking real nice. Yeah, real spit. Yeah, yeah. Looking real mama-ish. Um, okay, anyways. Um, how are you guys going to believe someone... Uh, not me checking. <laughs> how y'all gonna believe someone talking shit or running their mouth over actual receipts?
Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait for yours. <laughs> this might get a little emotional. No, it's not, because I'm a gangster. And I ain't gonna let it get me emotional because TikTok will be always trying to get the best of me. No, I'm not gonna look at you yet because you're probably already ready. But guess what? I'm not ready yet. Okay, I'm ready. Well, that's one way to put it on the floor, TikTok. Damn. See, TikTok, this is why. <laughs> and this is why. This is why. Listen. I'm only going to say this one time. Yes, Cece and I broke up. No, I do not really want to talk about it on social media. So if you guys could please stop spamming my chat. I would really appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. And no, I didn't find anyone else. Thank you, sign management. Peace and love, have a good day. All right, y'all, so I was gonna go out and party, but I'm old now, so I'm just gonna get some chicken wings and liquor, or maybe wine, I think wine, and come back and watch a movie. So we're gonna go do that, I guess, together, since there's no one else to do it with me. So let's go. May I also add y'all uh, that I had a bad feeling. So we're gonna stay inside and be safe in the house so nothing bad happens, you feel me? Um, so we're gonna go get some chicken and some wine and come back. I would say liquor, but we need to keep the busy nice. I feel like wine is like still nice and healthy for the body, right? I don't know, we'll find out. Hold on. All right, y'all, so we came to Gyro's and I got some chicken wings, buffalo garlic. I'm super excited. So we're getting the chicken wings. I don't think I'm gonna drink. I don't really feel like it. So we'll probably just get the chicken wings and go home. I kind of have a headache. But yeah, we're waiting for the chicken wings y'all wanna see. No, no, I don't want to show that person's license plate. Anyway, we're waiting in line. Hey right, gang, so we got some wings, you know what I'm saying? And some fruit punch. And now I gotta walk to my house. The parking here sucks, especially late at night, so now I gotta go walk over there. I'll show y'all when I get there, I guess. I have a mean ass headache, gang. All right, Joss, we got the chicken wings, you know what I'm saying? I already had started eating, I almost forgot to show y'all. I really need to eat this. I have a little bad headache. I'm about to eat this and lay down and watch some TV. I can go to sleep. And I think tomorrow I'm gonna go to the gym. You see how ADHD I am? I was gonna go out, go downtown, get drunk, have a blast. Then I changed it to I'm gonna go to the hookah. Then, I changed it to, I'm gonna get chicken wings and drink at home. And now, I changed it to, I really do got a mean ass headache. And I'm gonna take my little ass. My black ass to sleep. What? Thank y'all so much for coming on my adventure. I hope y'all have a good night. You know, have a bite of chicken before I go. Whole lot of peace, whole lot of love. Whole lot of happiness. We out of here, gang. What's going on, y'all? Good morning, good morning. Um, the message of the day is, it's okay not to be okay. But you need to make sure that you're doing things to make sure that you're going to be okay again. Um, 
when life gets hard, you can't just run and hide under the bed and hope that it passes, you know? You don't have to truck through the mud, deal with the pain, go from there. Um, yeah, so that's really my message of the day, gang. Hope you all have a wonderful Monday. I'm about to go to the gym. Hopefully that make me feel better. My body feel like... My body feels okay, but then it feels like really sick at the same time. It's like a very overwhelming feeling. Um, if I must be honest, like I woke up and I felt like I was going to throw up. So I'm going to go to the gym, get a two-hour session. This is the last day I can call out of work. And mentally, I can't go there. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Monday. I'll make sure I do something to make sure to ensure by the end of today I am actually okay. A whole lot of peace, a whole lot of love, a whole lot of happiness. Take care of yourself, even when it feels like everybody's trying to destroy you. Listen, for those of y'all, for those of y'all who say a woman gave me confidence, if that was the case, the woman's not here anymore, so the confidence would be gone, right? That's why you don't put your happiness in people. That's why you don't rely on people for confidence, because when they're no longer around, you no longer have that. Let me show y'all, though, what really really made me confident what really made me secure within myself what really made me want to look at myself in the mirror what really uplifted myself let me show y'all let me show y'all what women really did that what woman that really was give me one second y'all ready are y'all ready give me one second right there right there right there right there 24 hour fitness that's what made my confidence go up not no woman it was 24 hour 24 hour i worked on myself again 24 hour fitness is what helped me with my confidence, my transition, me sitting down with myself, me healing myself. No woman will ever be the reason I'm confident the way that I am. Like, I don't think y'all understand that. That came with self work. Self work. A lot of shadow work. Like, I know y'all aren't used to sitting and healing and stuff like that, and you rely on other people for your happiness and confidence and all that other stuff because you're not mentally strong enough to do that on your own to the trolls that be trolling in my comments. But that's not how that happened over here, baby. I'm the one that shows up to this gym every single day. I'm the one that gets up. Not anybody else pushing me to do it. I was pushing other people. Anyways, I hope y'all have a lot of a wonderful day. I'm about to go in here and get this workout in, and y'all get some sweaty pictures here in a second. Stay tuned for the OF link. What's going on, y'all? So we back with another video really quick. So I just wanted to hop on here really quick and just let y'all know. Um, thank y'all so much to um, everybody on here that has been supporting me. You know, my friends um, in real life, my friends on the internet, all of that. Thank you guys seriously so much. I really, really appreciate it. I don't think I would have made it through without y'all love and support. Um, honestly, this is a lot. This is really a lot. and This is not something I've ever dealt with nor like the internet really isn't like my thing um so just wanted to stop in and tell y'all thank you so much i really genuinely appreciate the real supporters the people that have my back the people that are sticking up for me the people that are really paying attention i really appreciate y'all for real um from the bottom of my heart i really do and just thank you for being part of this community um, I'm just gonna, I guess y'all gonna watch me heal through all of this, um, and yeah, just thank you guys, seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, a whole lot of peace, a whole lot of love, a whole lot of happiness, we out of here. <laughs>